Namalwar Tamil, Namalwar is one of the twelve Alwar saints of Tamil Nadu, India, who are known for their affiliation to the Vaishnava tradition of Hinduism. The verses of Alwars are compiled as Nalayura Divya Prabandham and the 108 temples revered are classified as Divya Desam. Namalwar is considered the fifth in the line of the twelve Alwars. He is highly regarded as a great mystic of the Vaishnava tradition. He is also considered the greatest among the twelve Alwars and his contributions amount to 1352 among the 4,000 stanzas in the Nalayura Divya Prabandham. According to traditional scriptures, Namalwar was born in 3059 BCE in Alwartharunagiri. In Hindu legend, Namalwar remained speechless from his birth sitting in a tamarind tree and he first interacted with Madhurakavi Alvar, who saw a bright light shining to the south, and followed it until he reached the tree where the boy was residing. The works of Namalwar were compiled by Madhura Kavi as four different works, the Tiruvayumali 1102 verses, Tiruvarudam 100 verses, Tiruvasiriyam or Thiru Asarayam 7 verses, and Pariya Thiruvanthadi 87 verses. The works of Namalwar contributed to the philosophical and theological ideas of Vaishnavism. Along with the three Shaiva Nayanars Apar, Sundarar and Sambandar, they influenced the ruling Pallava kings of South India, changing the religious geography from Buddhism and Jainism to Hinduism. The Garudasavai festival in Nava Tirupati, the nine Vishnu temples in Thuthakudi region and the Arayar Savai during the Vaikunta Ekadisi festival in Srirangam temple are dedicated to him. The verses of Namalwar and other Alwars are recited as a part of daily prayers and during festive occasions in most Vishnu temples in South India. <laughs> Alwars The word Alwar means the one who dives deep into the ocean of the countless attributes of God. The Alwars are considered the twelve supreme devotees of Vishnu who were instrumental in popularizing Vaishnavism. The religious works of these saints in Tamil, songs of love and devotion, are compiled as Nalayura Divya Prabandham containing 4,000 verses and the 108 temples revered in their songs are classified as Divya Desam. The saints had different origins and belonged to different castes. As per tradition, the first three Alwars, Poigai Aswar, Buthath Aswar, and Pei Aswar, were born miraculously. Tirumalasai Alvar was the son of a sage, Thandaradapadi Alvar, Madhurakavi Alvar, Pari Alvar and Andal were from Brahmin community, Kulashikara Alvar a Kshatriya, Namalwar a Velala, Thirupan Alvar a Panar and Tirumangai Alvar a Kalar. The Divya Suri Charitra by Garuda Vahana Pandita 11th century, Guru Paramparaprabhavam by Pinbaragya Purumal Gr, Pariya Tiru Mudiya Devu by Anbalai Kandidiyapan, Yatindra Pranava Prabhavam by Pilai Lokacharya, Commentaries on Divya Prabandam, Guru Parampara lineage of gurus, texts, temple records and inscriptions give a detailed account of the Alwars and their works. According to these texts, the saints were considered incarnations of some form of Vishnu. Poigai is considered an incarnation of Panchajanya Krishna's Kong, Buthath of Kalmodaki Vishnu's Mace, Club, Pei of Nandaka Vishnu's Sword, Tirumalasai of Sudarshanam Vishnu's Discus, Nam of Vishvaksena Vishnu's Commander, Madhura Kavi of Vainathaya Vishnu's Eagle, Garuda, Kalasakara of Kastaba Vishnu's Necklace, Pariya of Garuda Vishnu's Eagle, Andal of Budevi Vishnu's Wife, Lakshmi, in her form as Budevi, Thandaradapadi of Vanamalai Vishnu's Garland, Thirupan of Srivasta an auspicious mark on Vishnu's chest and Tirumangai of Sharanga, Rama's bow. The songs of Prabandam are regularly sung in all the Vishnu temples of South India daily and also during festivals. According to traditional account by Manavala Mamanagal, the first three Alwars namely Poigai, Buthath and Pei belong to the Devapara Yuga before 4200 BC. It is widely accepted by tradition and historians that the trio are the earliest among the twelve Alwars. Along with the three Shaiva Nayanars, they influenced the ruling Pallava kings, creating a bhakti movement that resulted in changing the religious geography from Buddhism and Jainism to Hinduism. The Alwars were also instrumental in promoting the Bhagavatha cult and the two epics of India, the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. The Alwars were instrumental in spreading Vaishnavism throughout the region. The verses of the various Alwars were compiled by Nathamuni 824-924 AD, a 10th-century Vaishnava theologian, who called it the Tamil Veda. <laughs> Early life 
According to traditional scriptures, Namalwar was born in 43rd Kali of 3059 BC. He was born in a Pillai Velalar family at Thirukurukur modern-day Alwartharunajiri in the southernmost region of the Tamil country. Some sources consider his to have been a princely family, although of Shudra status to prove world that caste is not based on birth and it is based on action. Tradition says that he must have been born fully enlightened because as a baby he never cried or suckled and never opened his eyes. According to legend, as a child he responded to no external stimuli and his parents left him at the feet of the deity of Sri Adinathar in Alwartharunagari. The child then got up and climbed into a hole in a tamarind, sat in the lotus position, and began to meditate. It appears he was in this state for as long as 16 years when a Tamil poet and scholar in named Madhurakavilvar who was born in Thirukalore and had travelled to North India on a temple trip. As he was performing his Nitya Anushtanam one day, he saw a bright light shining to the south, and followed it until he reached the tree where the boy was residing. Unable to elicit any reaction from the child, he asked him a riddle. If the small is born in a dead's body or stomach, what will it eat and where will it stay? Meaning, if the subtle soul is embodied in the gross body, what are its actions and thoughts? Namalwar broke his lifelong silence and responded, that it will eat, it will rest. Meaning that if the soul identifies with the body, it will be the body but if it serves the divine, it will stay in Vaikuntha and eat think, of God. Madhurakavi Ilvar realized the divinity of this child. It is believed that in the Kali Yuga, the doors of Vaikuntam the supreme abode was opened first time for him by Sriman Narayanan himself and it is believed that the followers of Swami Namalwar have the most easy access to the supreme abode. Following his moksha his family entitled as the Sabiya Kumara Pillai the auspicious sons by holy Vaishnava Acharyas and they serve him and believe him to be Sriman Narayanan Tiruvadi and celebrate him as Kulaguru. Namalwar was one of the twelve Alwar poet saints who immersed themselves in a love of Vishnu and who had a considerable knowledge of ancient Tamil literature and its variants of traditional stories concerning Vishnu and his associates, as well as the philosophical differences between Buddhism, Hinduism and Jainism. Madhurakavi Ilvar was his first disciple. Swami Madhurakavi Ilvar composed eleven pasurams in praise of his acharya, Swami Namalwar known as Kananan Sharuthambu, which are included among the 4,000 Nalayura Divya Prabandham. <laughs> Work He contributed four works to the Divya Prabandham. These works consisted of 1,296 poems, making him the most prolific contributor to the 4,000 hymns written by the Alvar poet saints. These works are Thiruvimali 1102 verses, Tiruvarudam 100 verses, Thiru Vasiriam 7 verses, Periya Thiruvanthadi 87 verses. Tiruvimali describes Ranganatha as a metaphor to discussing the philosophical details in. The nature of the Paramatma, divine soul. The nature of the Jivatma, living soul. The means for the Jivatma, living soul, to attain the goal of Paramatma, divine soul. The blocks and hurdles on the way, and the goal moksha, divinity. In the Shravaishnava canon, these four represent, in Tamil language, the four Sanskrit Vedas, respectively, the Sama Veda, Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, and Atharva Veda. According to tradition, he poured the cream of these Vedas into his songs and poetry that were the result of deep mystic experience. Though Namalwar did not visit any of the 108 Divyadasam temples talked about in the Vaishnava religion, it appears from his works he must have had the vision of all the archa forms in the temples he glorified in his hymns. <laughs> <laughs> Style of composition The distinction of Namalwar with his contemporaries is above the devotional aspects in writing, the visualization and dramatic movement. He mentions Vishnu in various aspects frequently in all his verses. The poems of Tiruvaryudam are depicted fully between the lone context of the hero and heroine. Most of these are utterances of the hero, heroine, her friends to the heroine or her mother to the heroine. The heroine always perceives his hero, Vishnu everywhere around her. As per Viradhakari, Tiruvarudam is an account of the pilgrimage of the soul to its transcendence over its ignorance, sleep and sloth in which it is caught up in the body." While the medieval poetry is considered self-pity and repentance, his works always have a message of hope. Topic. 
Topic: Culture. Namalwar is regarded as the one of the top three Hindu mystics in India, with the other two being Manikavasagar and Kabir. Namalwar is considered greatest among the twelve alwars and his contributions amount to 1352 among the 4,000 stanzas in the Nalayura Divya Prabandham. The Garuda Savai Utsavam festival in the month of Vaikasi May to June witnesses nine Garuda Savai, an event in which festival image idols from the Nava Tirupati's temples namely, Mayakuthar Temple, Makara Nedunkuze Kanan Temple, Retai Tirupati, South Temple, Retai Tirupati North Temple, Vaithamanidi Purumal Temple, Adinatha Purumal Temple, Thirukirujar, Kaishnavendan Temple, Vijayasana Purumal Temple, Sri Vaikuntanatha Kalapiran Temple are brought on Garuda Vahana. The festival image of Namalvar is also brought in Anna Vahanam Palanquin and his verses dedicated to each of these nine temples are recited. The Utsavar of Namalvar is taken in a palanquin to each of the nine temples, through the paddy fields in the area. The verses dedicated to each of the nine Divyadasams are chanted in the respective shrines. It is the most important of the festivals in this area, and it draws thousands of visitors. Pagal Pathu and Ra Pathu festival are celebrated in the month of Margazi December to January for 20 days in Sri Ranganathaswami Temple, Srirangam. The first 10 days are referred as Pagal Pathu and the second half as Ra Pathu The first day of Ra Pathu is Vaikunta Ekadashi. The eleventh day of each fortnight in Tamil calendar is called Ekadisi and the holiest of all Ekadasis in the Vaishnava tradition is the Vaikunta Ekadashi. Namalwar, one of the twelve Alwars, is believed to have ascended to Vaikuntam the heavenly abode of Vishnu on this day. The devotion of the ninth-century poet, Namalwar, and his perceived ascent to heaven are enacted annually. During the festival, through song and dance, this place is affirmed to be Buloga Vaikunta heaven on earth. Arayar Savai is a divine colloquium of Arayars, who recite and enact Nalayara Divya Prabandha, the 4,000 verses of Alwars Vaishnavite poets of the 7th-10th century. Arayars are born to Arayar tradition most prevalent in Sri Vaishnava families in Srirangam, Alwar Tirunagari and Srivaliputhar. The tradition of Arayar Savai was started by Nathamuni, a 10th-century Vaishnavite who compiled the works of Alwars. It is believed as per Hindu mythology that 330 million demi-gods came down to witness the event. The festival deity is brought to the 1,000-pillared hall on the morning of Vaikunta Ekadashi through the Paramapada Vassal gate to paradise. Locks of pilgrims rush to enter it after the gate is opened and the deity passes through it as it is believed that one who enters here will reach Vaikuntam heaven after death. The gate is open only during the 10 days of Ra Pathu 10 days of nighttime festival. On the last day of the festival, the poet Namalwar is said to be given salvation. The performance is enacted by priests and images in the temple depicts Namalwar as reaching heaven and getting liberation from the cycle of life and death. At that point, a member from the crowd of devotees, who are witnessing this passion play, goes up to the center stage and requests Vishnu to return Namalwar to humanity, so that his words and form in the temple will continue to inspire and save the devotees. Following this performance of the salvation of Namalwar, the cantors are taken in procession round the temple. See also Ramanuja Manavala Mamanagal Hindu reform movements Notes <laughs>